Well, boys, cheers to making it through another week. I'll tell you something, though. I got a lot of pent-up energy tonight. Maybe there's someone here that... Oh. Hello there. Check out that handsome boy over there. Yeah, the one that looks like he's a fish out of water. Damn. What a sexy boy. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> what daddy wants, daddy gets. <laughs> Watch this. Well, hey there, kiddo. You a little lost? Huh, well, you kind of have that look like you're not sure whether you're supposed to be here or not. Uh, it's your first time here at the stud, huh? Well, allow me to be the first to welcome you. Can I buy you a drink? Might help take off the edge a bit. Yeah, of course. What's your drink of choice? All right, bud, give me a sec. Let me get the bartender's attention. He always makes sure I'm well taken care of. Yo. Yeah, two more. Thanks, chap. All right, here you go, sport. So what's your name, huh? Well, it's really nice to meet you. The name's Teddy, but most people call me Sir. Or Daddy. <laughs> oh. You like that, huh? I uh, usually like to get to know people a little bit better before they call me that, but in your case, what's the harm? Anyway, a toast. To maybe finding what we didn't know what we were looking for. Cheers. You know, though, if you keep calling me sir or daddy, I'm going to have to start calling you boy. But... Somehow I get the impression that won't bother you one bit. Hmm, <laughs> good question. I'm here with my buddies over there. Yeah, those guys over there who are 100% watching us. Yeah, we all play rugby together. We like to grab drinks here on Friday nights to celebrate another week. It's the off-season right now. Or bulking season, as I like to call it. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little bit more meat on my bones than I might normally during the regular season. But hey, it still looks good on me, don't you think? <laughs> no need to blush, boy. I saw you eyeing me when you walked in. You definitely had a bit of a hungry look in your eye. Something tells me I'm exactly what you were hoping to find here tonight. So, boy... I'm assuming you don't mind me calling you that, since you keep calling me daddy. Hmph, <laughs> I figured as much. So what exactly were you hoping to find here tonight, boy? Oh, you don't need to act shy all of a sudden. Let me guess. You were hoping to stumble in here and find a daddy to call your own. <laughs> oh, sweet boy. You are very transparent, trust me. But don't worry, you definitely caught my eye. And the eyes of a few others here tonight. I have a feeling if you wanted to, you could have your pick from quite a few of the daddies. But you're not interested in them, are you, boy? I didn't think so. You know, I can see you staring at my chest. Do you like what you see, boy? <laughs> That's right. I know you do. I have a feeling I'm everything you were hoping for, aren't I, boy? Hmm. That's a good boy. Do you like it when I call you a good boy? Yeah, I bet you do. What's that? You'd like to touch my biceps. You mean, these ones? <laughs> well, if you're as good a boy as you say you are, you should ask permission first. Oh, how? <laughs> it's simple. Just say, May I please touch your biceps, sir? Mm, that's a good boy. Yes, you may touch my biceps. Let me flex them again for you. <sighs> Do you like how hard they feel? Why don't you give them a little kiss, too? Hmm, <laughs> that's a good boy. 
<laughs> wow, you are one very sexy and pretty boy. I like how confident you are, even though you're nervous. I have a feeling that you'd be a very, very good boy for me. <laughs> well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I would too. I know you just got here, but it's noisy and... I don't know about you, but I'd like to get to know you a little bit better. How about you and I head somewhere a little bit more quiet and private? <laughs> yeah, I would definitely like that too. I wonder, would you be down for a little fun tonight? I think I would like to get to know you very well. Do you have a friend you can tell where you're going? Good, because I like to make sure my boys are safe. Give me your phone. I'll give you my phone number and address, and you can text it to your friend to let them know where you're going. Is this your first time going home with a strange man? <laughs> yeah, you've definitely got the smell of fresh meat on you, boy. I just want to make sure you're well taken care of. Alright, here you go. Let's finish our drinks. But while we do that, though, tell me, have you ever heard of edging? Oh, you have? Well, it's my favorite thing to do to boys. If you're feeling the vibe once we've had a chance to get to know each other a little more at my place, I would love to tie you down and make you beg for release. Ah, somehow I knew you'd be very into that. Well, let me just say bye to the guys real quick. They'll want to make sure that I'm okay too. And probably tease me for taking you home but they're just jealous that I get to be the one that does and not them. And I am a very lucky daddy for finding such a handsome boy. All right, come on. I'll introduce you quickly and then we'll head out. I can't wait to get you all tied up, vulnerable, and edge you until you're just begging for me. If you wanna know if Daddy Bear's able to make you beg for release, you should check out part two, Daddy Bear Edges You, available right now exclusively for Daddy Tier subscribers on Patreon. And if you stick around, you can listen on part three, Aftercare with Daddy Bear, available right now for Boyfriend Tier and Above subscribers. Follow the link in the description to get access to these two exclusive audios right now. Thanks for listening, and as always, a huge thank you to all my patrons for their support.